Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Man, it's Anelli here answering questions today. Today's question is about work. It's about hard work. I get asked all the time, you know, how many ground balls should I be taking if I want to be good? How many swings should I be taking? How many pitches should I be throwing? How much long toss should I be throwing? All this stuff, right? I get quite over and over and over again. First, there's no exact number, right? I, don't, I have no idea what the exact number is. I don't know what the science is going to tell you if you want to go, go over the 10,000 hour rule or whatever that is. But all I know is that it takes a lot of work, right? And nothing beats hard work, okay? And we've talked about this before. But there's this big misconception that players that play at a high level are just um, super talented. They're born to do it and all this stuff. Um, and I want to I give you some insight because I get this question so much about the type of work that goes on at the professional level when players are paid to play and they're professional. And there's a ton of development. A lot of people think, again that they're born to play there and they're just always awesome and they get there and they're still always awesome. They play in the big leagues forever because they're awesome, right? There's a ton of development that goes on from when you get into professional baseball to you get to the major leagues, okay? They're, the first level of the minor leagues to the major leagues is is like, it's just so different. It's, it's ridiculous how much better you have to get just when you get the pro ball, right? Obviously, it's super hard to get drafted. It's super hard to play professional baseball. But once you get there, to be able to get to the big leagues and then to be able to stay at the big leagues is so much harder. And so it takes a incredible amount of work. And so I wanna give you a little idea about hard work again, because there's a lot of players that say, you know, Matt, how many ground balls should I be taking, right? At high school, I, I, we take an infield outfield, we hit BP, we go home. Like, should I be taking more ground balls than that? Again, let me give you pro ball, because that's the most work I ever did, okay? The, the hardest I've ever seen players work is in professional baseball, all right? Every level I went up, it got, there was more and more work, okay? When I got to high school, I thought I worked hard, right? I got to college, I was like, Pfft. I did nothing in high school, right? And then in college, I thought I worked super hard, then I got the pro ball, and I was like, Pfft. I did nothing in college, right? So every level you go up to, up, there's way more work to be done because you're now playing with better players. And when you play with better players, you have to get better or else you're going to get passed, okay? So... That's why I want to give you the pro ball, uh, what we do in pro ball, okay? I know some people are going to say, well, that's because you're professional. You have all day to do all this stuff. That's absolutely true. But there's a reason why there's such a big jump made from when you get the pro ball to when you get to the major leagues. And those guys that stay in the major leagues, there's a reason why they're so good. So let me tell you, when I got the professional baseball, I'm just going to go over fielding, right? We could do this for every aspect of baseball, but let's just do fielding. All right, we'll keep it simple. I wasn't a great field. If you look at my college numbers, I made a lot of errors. I got to pro ball, and like I said, in professional baseball, you can't make a lot of errors or else you're never going to play. Right? You have to be able to play defense unless you're going to hit like 50 home runs a year. And so when you get there, they make sure that you get a lot of reps in. So let me give you a typical day at spring training. Okay, This is what it looks like, just so you know how many ground balls we're taking, how much work we're doing, and why players, why I got so much better at fielding ground balls, Okay, because I put the time in. I, I, Got a ton of reps. So spring training, right? Let's say the day starts at like 9 o'clock, 8.30, 9 o'clock. That's when you, let's say you go outside for your, your team activities, okay? You're going to get there way early than that because a lot of players, especially young players, are going to have early work. So you may go outside at like 7, 7.30 a.m. You know, you get there on the board actually the night before when you're leaving, it'll say like early work. And you might see, oh, Antonelli up there, fielding, early work, field one. Okay. I come in early, I get out to field one. So, go out to field one, we start off almost all, almost every day, we'd start off with hand routines, right? So we have no gloves, okay? Professional players, guys that have played in the major leagues, on our hands and knees, fielding, you know, rolling balls back and forth, working all the small details that we talk about all the time. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go type in uh, hands routine in, on the YouTube search bar our videos will probably come up, okay? So we're doing all these hands, no glove, then gloves on, we stand up, we go through it again. Then we're gonna move back, 
Coach is going to start doing like some short fungos to you. So you're going to work on short fungos. Sometimes we did ball and glove. Type in ball and glove drills. I put those online too. Put a ball in our glove. And we're going to go through all the footwork of every play. Right? Balls at us. Balls to our right. Backhand balls. Balls to our left. Slow rollers. Extended backhand. Extended forehand. Go through all those plays. Ball in hand. Just ball in the glove. Footwork. Throw the ball across. Then you'll get short fungos. You'll push back. You'll get long fungos. You make it down on your knees and do the Aussie Smith drill where they're going to hit it to you on your knees. Right? So you're doing all this. This is all like happening in early work. So we're getting all these reps, hundreds of reps. Then you go inside. You get a snack and everything. Then your practice, your official team practice starts, let's say, at like 8.30 or 9 o'clock, somewhere around there. You're going to go back out, and you're going to break off and do more defense. All right? So you're going to go back to your defensive groups. You're going to do individuals, get tons of ground balls. You're going to do team defense with first and thirds and cutoffs and pickoffs and all that stuff. So you're going to be handling a ball and all those drills. You're going to do your batting practice where you can get more ground balls. Okay? And then after all those reps, another two hours of practicing, let's say, you're going to come off. You're going to take a shower. You're going to eat some lunch whatever then you're going to go out and then you're going to play a game where you're going to get live ground balls in the game right and then after the game sometimes you're going to say hey man like you need some more ground balls <laughs> and they may take you out like players do it all the time whether it's ground balls or or more swings or whatever and some players are going to go do and do more stuff and then you're going to look at the board you're going to see Antonelli failed three tomorrow double play work or hitting or whatever and you're going to go back out there okay so obviously you're a professional you're paid to play we have way more time. I totally get it that you can't do that in high school. You can't do that in college. But I'm just, I, I just want to show you why it's about reps. It's about hard work. It's about putting in the time that's going to ultimately make you better. So if you're somebody that in high school, you're just getting uh, infield outfield, you're getting your three, four ground balls, and then you hit, and then you're done, and you're not fielding as well as you want to, you got to get way, way more reps than that. So Maybe you don't do it with your team, but maybe you get there before practice. Maybe you stay after practice, right? It doesn't take a ton, especially if you're the only guy there. If you can get someone to hit you, maybe you, you grab a teammate. You grab another infielder and say, hey, man, I'll hit you 30 ground balls. You hit me 30 ground balls, all right? Really, really simple. Maybe you get, down, get there early and you do a hands retreat every single day, right? You do a ball and glove drill. So there's always... For me, you can always find some time, and it doesn't have to be a ton. I'd rather do a little a lot than a lot a little. That's what I tell the guys. So you don't have to say, like, oh, I need two hours of work today, and then I won't do anything for the next week. It takes 10, you can do 10 minutes, 15 minutes, right? If you do 10 minutes before practice, 10 minutes after practice, that's pretty short. I mean, you're going to play Fortnite for like three hours a night. So you can put in like 10 minutes here and 10 minutes there. And if you do that every day or a couple times a week, all of a sudden, your skills, I'm telling you, are going to go through the roof. My defense was never better than in pro ball. And, and you know, some people are still going to say, man, you still suck. That's fine. But I'm just telling you that I went from making tons of errors my junior year of college to my errors went down every year in pro ball because of all the reps that I was taking. I'm taking the more reps you get, the more times you see the ball off the bat, the the you learn, okay, how do I move my body for this play? You know, I feel that this ball, right? You get a backhand ball. I feel this ball 8,000 8, times in practice. So what happens in the game, I'm just like, boom, feel it, throw it. I've done that a million times before. My body just knows what to do. And so that's how you really get comfortable. And that's how you get confident. When you've done it time after time after time after time in practice, well, then you can stand, you step into the game and you're like, I'm ready to go. I've done this. And if you make an error, you say, hit me the next ball. I've done it a million times. I feel good. Like, I feel confident. It's when you don't put in the work that you get on the, the field and you're like, please don't hit me the ball. Please don't hit me the ball. Please don't hit me the ball. Then the ball's hit you. Look, oh, I missed that one. Please don't hit me the next ball. Right? That's what you feel like when you, ha when you know you haven't put in the work. You don't feel prepared. So hopefully that answers your question on hard work and what is hard work. Again, there's no exact answer. Everyone always says, how many ground balls? How many swings? I have no idea how many. I just know, like, you got to do a lot. <laughs> okay, a lot. That's the number. A lot. So hopefully that helps you guys out. Let me know in the, in the comment section below if you have any more questions. Subscribe to the channel. Give the thumbs up. Share the video with all your friends. All that good stuff. Um, in the description box below, we have a deal going on with Play Crate. If you click the link, type in Antonelli, get 50% off your first Play Crate. Also have a link to our Patreon page. You can help support the channel. And we've got a bunch of other stuff in the description box below as well. So check that out. And that's all I got, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. And we will talk to you later.